G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and today I want to talk to you guys a little about uh, hex and binary. Uh, I guess the, the purposes of hex and, and how it's useful. Uh, this is to continue on my Redstone Made Simple series that I kind of put on hold while I was doing my exams and never really got back to. So, well it is back and I'm back and, <laughs> and here we go. So pretty much um, I was looking at a few tutorials during the week because I wanted to make it really simple for you guys because um, I understood hex. Uh, I've studied a little bit in in uni on how it works and things like that and I wanted to make it really simple so I looked at a few of the tutorials that are out there and I found that a lot of the tutorials that are out there are aimed at people who like myself have a little bit of a background into these things so I wanted to start from scratch talk about the real basics in the beginning not go overly complicated with it but cover what it is why we use it um, things like that. Um, first of all, I want you guys to know that the, well, basically, let me, let me reset what I've got here. Uh, hex is a, a way to read binary. It's not the only way to read binary, but it is a way that we can read binary. I just realized I have the default skin. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess the skin server is down. That's alright though. I've got the default Steve skin and my name is Steve, so that's fine. Hey Steve. Alright. So pretty much what hex is for is a, it's a way to uh, to simplify binary. Um, if we had a 12-bit binary sequence, let's say for I don't know just a random sequence 11010111 one, one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero, um, that would be D71010 uh, I think I said D7A I think it is um, in hex. So what hex basically is is a way that splits off the four um, the numbers into four uh, bit uh, I guess sequences. So like every four bits would be a hex value. So for a 12 bit um, sequence of binary, we would have three hex values as we said. So it was D7A I think it was. Um, I'm only going to show you a thing with eight, and then I'm going to talk about a, a simpler way or a better way to I don't know about simpler. Uh, I think it is, then I'm going to say actually a more convenient way to turn binary into hex. Now hex, the values themselves, like for example, like I said, D7A, doesn't really mean anything. Um, it could be anything, like the, the D could be an X, so it doesn't really have to um, mean anything in particular. It's just a way for us, as the users of the values, to be able to read it easier, and to be able to understand it easier. Uh, pretty much it's a way to simply uh, understand or work with binary. Um, because what you normally would have binary do is a, a series of functions. And what hex does is it splits those function the binary into, I guess, four bit sequences to do, I guess, three different functions if it's a 12 bit um, thing, or, or even if it's larger, it could be one, one sequence if um, you had three values to code for one uh, function. Now what I mean by that is, if you imagine for example you had a, I don't know, a computer, just a normal computer, um, and you put input a binary sequence in, like when you press the first button, when you press the on button, and let's imagine it doesn't, but let's imagine it sends out an 8-bit signal. It obviously would be very different, and, and I'm only using this for an example, but it's clearly incorrect, but let's say it sent out a 8-bit signal, um, and that two, uh, that was split into two hex values. Uh, the first section of four would be maybe to go to the kernel to switch on the operating system, and the other sequence might be to switch on the light or the screen. But you know, two different things. They could both be going to the kernel. It doesn't really, you know, there's different things you can do because larger systems might require more things for different functions. So you notice here there are 16 numbers or 16 sequence of numbers. Those are particular functions you can perform with that sequence of numbers. They're like addresses. Um, people can live at those different addresses. So if you wanted to send a letter um, to the guy at D6, you would have to go 11010110. Let's let's input this into here. This is basically this is that. Uh, I think I, th I think I said one one zero one zero one one zero, which is D six. That's the guy's house. 
I left the bit at the top for the D, so it's only confused. Now, there's an easier way to decode it than other than what was uh, was placed before, and that's something like this, where you've got um, rather than having all the bits try and squeeze into that one little area, you can attach it to a normal, I guess, bus. Um, one, there's two here for each bit. Uh, one for off, one for on. As you notice, it alternates. And that's how you can tell what's what. So if we put in, for example, we said that second one, six. Uh, one, zero, one, one, zero. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So the address is number six. So it's an easy way to decode it. How I've basically done this is counted up in binary on here. So if we imagine that this here was here, um, whenever, wherever we've got a zero, we would put it on this line, uh, sorry, this line where it's currently, where it would be off. Um, so like for example, the first digit is a one, because we don't count the, the four zeros, so we can't, you know, that's, we could add it to this, but it wouldn't be practical because it's basically an off state normally anyway. So let's say three zeros and a one, that's on currently, and those three are off, as you can see, if that makes sense. I'll leave this world up for download so you can explore it yourself and play with it and so forth, but this is essentially the binary on a decoder. Um, yeah, simply put, <laughs> this is a way to, to read it. So hex is just a way to, to work with binary, to simplify it, to make it easier to work with and um, easier to read. Because when I when I see D6, I know okay, D6 can equate back to 1101, uh, 0110 straight away. You know, it, and as you get more into the values, it's easier to understand them. Now we also need to uh, to recognise that uh, hex is not the only way to read binary. I think I mentioned a moment ago, but there are other ones. Um, it is my favourite because it's you know. It's an even number. There's octal as well, which is um, a base eight system. They use three numbers, um, so like a four-bit, sorry, a twelve-bit number would have four addresses um, and things like that. The numbers obviously don't allow for as much of a variance um, as this one because there are sixteen values to do with a um, a sixteen, well, fifteen, I guess, values to do with a, a hex value. Um, also, another thing to note, a practical real-life use for hex is in HTML when you, whenever you have um, colors for HTML. For example, if you've ever looked at the, I guess the variable, so like the color uh, blue, because it uses the RGB color scheme, but using binary. So like um, RGB would for blue would be 00, zero for red, 00, zero for green and then FF for blue, F being the 1111 here, um, which, or maybe 8 ones because it would be F and then F. So yeah, if that makes sense. Um, and there's plenty of other uses for, for hex, I won't go into all of them, but you can look them up if you want. This tutorial was more so aimed to help you understand, uh, t so that when I make future tutorials in the future, uh, you've got this covered and you don't, in case we use it in the future, I can refer you back here and say, hey look, if you want to learn how to do hex, here's your video. Uh, but anyway guys, um, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. If you do have any questions, uh, leave a message below or a comment or leave me a message or something and um, I'll answer your questions the best I can. If, if I can't answer them very well, I'll give you a link to a tutorial article or, uh, tutorial, an article or something which I, I feel might help. Um, running out of daylight here, but um, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you do like this, if you do think this is useful, click like. The download link is in the description as I said, um, and I hope you can find this useful. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I'm Steve-O, and I'll catch you later. Alright, see ya. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.